find a good place for this. What is it right now? It's not too bad, minus three Celsius with a low of minus eight today. It's, uh, it's 7.10 in the morning. It's 8.10 in the morning. A little bit of a late start. I am here in, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> I'm in a place called Revelstoke, which is uh, three hours from Kelowna, which is an hour plane ride from Vancouver, which is across the country from Toronto. Uh, and I'm here to get a kickstart on winter, if you will. Yeah, what does that mean, get a kickstart? And who would want to get a kickstart? Who would want the jump on winter? This guy does. You see, last year I bought a sled, a snowmobile, for those of you guys who don't know the slang. We call them sleds. I bought one uh, closer towards the end of the year, kind of like right now, but then we didn't get any snow in Ontario, which is the province I live in, until later on. So I only got to ride it a few times. So I have the opportunity today to go out with a pro rider. This dude is amazing. I think he's like sponsored by, I don't even know. He's, he's a pro rider. This guy mobs. I have the opportunity to come out here with a friend of mine, Maddie and give him a little taste of how I enjoy winter and the things I like to do, uh, which is most definitely snowmobiling. So we're gonna go into the mountains and actually snowmobile in backcountry, which is very exciting for me because I've never done that before. I'll probably suck really, really bad at it, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. There doesn't even seem to be very much snow here, which is concerning. Very excited, always good to be back in the mountains, as you guys know, I love it. Super pumped for Maddie to get to ride proper snowmobiles. It's been a while since we've been on one together. And uh, yeah, looking forward to today. It should be very, very fun. The guy has a couple extra sleds for us, so we're gonna hop on those and just, uh, I think he's even got a sat phone. I was told he has a sat phone, and that just makes me so happy. Like, I would love to make a call from a sat phone, just to say I did. Like, I was a true CTU agent in duress. Erwick is gone, the canisters are gone, we've got nothing here, damn it! And I needed to use a sat phone to call in air support. It's just something I would love to add to my list of things I've done. <laughs> Not actually, fictionally, but yeah, I need to get my snow pants on. Dude, the weather's looking good. Weather is looking crispy. So here's the plan. I got all my snow stuff in the trunk. I gotta get, are you already ready? <laughs> when did, Pretty much. When did you get all your snow stuff on? I was so nervous that I got to put it on first. <laughs> Maddie hasn't ridden sleds. Well, you rode a sled once in Sweden, but they were very different than these ones, especially backcountry in a mountain. I don't even really ride backcountry in mountains ever like i i ride flat ground on a lake so uh, we're gonna meet a guy named rob alford he's like a pro rider and uh he's gonna come make sure we don't die or get snowed in from an avalanche that's uh you know safety first Ugh. hey you want the blue one or the black one i'm just kidding i'm taking the black one obviously
Hey Maddie, this is the most I've ever seen you crash drones. You crashed one in the sand, you just crashed this in the snow. What's happening, drone master? Uh, I'm just getting more more uh, relaxed with it, that's all. I thought you were a pro with that thing. <laughs> I heard a lot of talk earlier, but it doesn't seem to be adding up. <laughs> yeah, we all thought he was a pro with this thing, but I guess not. I think I might have to strip you of that drone wars title. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> That's not half bad. Hey, uh, Rob, how how feasible is it to tear some of that soft powder up? You know when you like see a calm lake and you just want to throw a big rock in it? I kind of want to throw you in that. That's totally feasible. Okay, all right, <laughs> that's not... I wouldn't do it, but I mean, he he's actually good at this, so. <laughs> I can't do that, that's for sure. Dude, that came down fast. Sorry, man, I almost chopped off your fingers. <laughs> that drone was like, I am landing now. <laughs> dude, sick drone flight. Heck yeah. Looks good, right? This dude is a boss on this sled. So good. Dude, you know how to ride a sled, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, food break. Yeah, we gotta get these things cooking. Okay, how does it, tell me, how do you cook one of these out here without a stove? Well, I call it the panini press. I put it in here and it presses against the hot exhaust and cooks it perfectly. <laughs> How long do you lock it in there for? Well, that's the other thing, you know, if you're riding really hard, then you don't want it in there that long. But if you're <laughs> just sitting around, it's not too bad. <laughs> the panini press, I love it. The side of the sled. You gotta make sure you rotate it though or else you burn the one side, which is no good. <laughs> you gotta flip. Yeah, you gotta flip it. <laughs> All right, put that in there. Push that in, boom. So if you guys follow my channel or Maddie's channel, you may know that we both have very different opinions of winter. I love the winter. I think it's fun, there's fun activities, it looks beautiful, I mean like look around, look at this. It's very rare you get to see this sort of a landscape and the fact that it goes away and you get your seasons and then it's summer and you can enjoy both. I just love it, so it's great. Now, Maddie, on the other hand, is not the biggest fan of winter. Uh, he's more of a summer guy. He wants to lay on the beach and do warm activities and swim in the water. And there's nothing wrong with that. He loves jet skiing. I love jet skiing. So when Hyundai came to us with this idea, hey, do you and Maddie want to go do each other's versions of winter? We're like, well, what does that mean? You're like, well, Pete, you're into snowmobiling. You like to ride sleds. Why don't you take Maddie snowmobiling in the backcountry with a pro rider? And the next day, you can go do Maddie's version of winter and go snowboarding up on the mountain with a pro rider. So yeah, sounds great, minus Maddie's actual version of winter because I don't like snowboarding. I'm not very good at it. I tried it once before and I found it very difficult. Even though I can ride a one wheel, snowboarding's just, it's not my thing. No offense, it's just this. This is my thing. Oh, oh the snow is so deep out here. Oh. 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 All right. Airlift me back. <laughs> Start it up, make it harder. Let's cook these sandwiches. All right. Good. Yeah. Great. Shot, of, shot of the day. Open the oven. Ooh. Ooh. Still, like, smoking hot black. Yeah, hopefully they're not overcooked. <laughs> How's it the looking? cheese is melted. Love it. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm. Boom. I'm going to bed now. 
That was a long day. The sun has set. Snowmobiling was amazing. Tomorrow, I gotta do Maddie's version of winter, which is snowboarding. And I'm really, really not looking forward to that. <sighs> I'm trying to find the lobby. I'm super late and uh, this is apparently the way you go. I mean, that sounds better than, than snowboarding. I'm just gonna, just gonna put that out there. Where is this lobby? Seriously. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Found the lobby through the tunnels of this place. Can you snowboard in a puff coat? Does that work? Can you snowboard in snowmobile pants? Does that work? I'm gonna go meet up with Maddie and this pro rider now and shred the shred the powder. I don't know, is that is that what they say? Shred shred the mountain. I just, I'm just really not feeling snowboarding, guys. I'm just I'll make the best of it. You know, we'll make it look good. We'll make it look good. They gave me snowboard boots because they said I can't snowboard in snowmobile boots. Which makes sense since there's bindings and stuff, but I... Where do I put these on? Is there a bench or anything? Is there a be... Is there a bench? I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just put them on right here. I feel like I'm going to the moon in these boots. <laughs> Straight to the moon. Just like ready to go and totally forgot I need a, I need the board to make this work. <laughs> no. no, wait. Wait. I got you. You died. You're okay, right? I don't like chairlifts. We're not in a chairlift. This isn't a chairlift? No, it's a gondola. It's a gondola? Whatever. I don't like gondolas. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Just pointing that out there. <laughs> How high does this go? Like, are we almost at the top? I don't... I can't say I'm that much of a fan of how high we are. Especially, like, I've never done this. And this is a little... It's a little much. I think we got... I think we got some ways to go still. Yeah, we're just at the start. <laughs> we, we're just hitting the snow. Look at what... Dude, how uh, how much longer are you gonna be up on that mountain? A couple more hours? Yeah, I should still be around when you get back. Yeah, okay, yeah, just give me a call. Yeah, I'll be here. Okay, bye. Nope. <laughs> Made it back home. Sorry, Maddie, couldn't wait around for you. Snowboarding is just not my thing, but maybe it's your thing. Hyundai Canada is actually putting on a contest so that you and a friend can win a trip out to Whistler, BC and shred some mountains 
with your snowboards and if you don't snowboard with a snowmobile and they're gonna give you a couple of GoPros to go along with that so you can capture the whole thing the link is below it's Hyundai social contest.ca everything is there for you to check out if you would so choose to do so uh, also some of the photos that we took on the trip are gonna be down there too if you want to peep those and uh, that's it so thanks Hyundai for setting that up uh, that was a blast minus the snowboarding that was not a blast and uh, yeah I'm home early so sorry Maddie if you're seeing this <laughs> this is what I did while you were mobbing the hills have a great day.